Got a 40 inch long board we made in a torpedo design for a fella last year. Looks pretty good. Only problem after about four months of use, he cut pretty hard on it one day and it popped right here. Got a little bit of a crack around this screw hole and it's a little bit of a split. You have to really stress the board to get it to open up. You might be able to see it right there. Just a little bit of a split there. It's right around that screw hole and it goes to about right here. But in order to fix it, we've got to trim it all the way down that edge from one end to the other. So we'll get his grip tape off of it, put it on the bandsaw, smooth it out, glue it back together and see how it goes. Should be a pretty quick process. I'm going to sand this edge back flush to the edge of that purple heart and I don't want to go too fast so I'm using about, that's a 220 sandpaper. I've got both sides sanded down with the palm sander so they're fairly straight down that edge, pretty straight. Now I'll take them over to the joiner and I'm gonna joint both edges so I get a nice flat edge so I get them flush and glued back together. That's how she looks when I get it back together. Now it's not glued, I've just got it clamped, just dry clamped to see what that edge looks like. And it looks pretty good. I was able to match it up on this end down here. That looks pretty good. And you can see we keep that purple heart all the way through, looks pretty good. On this end here, I've got to do just a little bit of work where I cut that out, it came up just a little bit short. And again, that's not clamped together good. These holes right here where the trucks were, I'll fill those and then drill new ones. So those will be plugged and then I'll drill new ones. But all in all, looks pretty good so far. To give us a little extra insurance on this repair job, I've taken my biscuit cutter and cut some biscuits in here. And we'll put those in there when we go to glue it back up. That'll give it a little bit more strength on that glue joint. Now when it cracked before, it was because of all the pressure and stress that was up at this front truck. And it didn't crack on that glue joint. Where it actually cracked was on the wide grain of this maple. That's where it cracked at. So the glue joint had nothing to do with it. I don't normally use the biscuit joints, but on this one I think it's gonna help us out. And it'll give us a little bit more strength at these truck locations, if nothing else. So hopefully that'll help us out once we get this repair made.
Here's the board out of the clamps. It looks pretty good. Got a little bit of sanding we need to do down here on this end. As you can see, it's just a little bit of a difference. Doesn't line up quite right because we cut some of that out. So this side's going to be a little bit shorter. I'm going to round that off. And then back here on the, on the fin, I've already sanded that a little bit to get that even. Didn't take much at all. So I'll put the sander on this, do a little bit of work on it, get the top nice and smooth again, and see what we've got. This is an 80 grit paper. coming along pretty good. Got a little bit there in the middle, but it's shaving up pretty quick. Back end looks good. Front end looks good. I think the only thing we need to do now is fill these holes here. This is where the countersink that was put in here was not quite big around enough for the screw that was in there. And when the owner backed the screw out, it chipped out this wood. And since we took that edge out anyway, these holes are not going to be centered at the right places. So we're going to fill these and start over with those holes. We're going to do the same on this end because the same tear out happened down here. When you back the screw out, the head had gone down below the edge of the board and the head of the screw popped that wood out. So we're going to fill all these and it may be that when we end up, we may flip the board over and make this the top instead because it doesn't have those chips on it here and here. But we'll see how it works out. We'll do whatever looks the best. I've got the holes repaired with rosin and drilled them all out and I've put one coat of finish on the board and now we're going to put down a second coat and put some of this anti-skid sand on it. You might remember when the board came back for repairs it had clear grip tape on it and I didn't like the way that looked so we've thrown that away. We're not going to use that. We're going to use this uh, sand that you use to get grip and it's called anti-skid texture. And the way you're supposed to use it is put it straight into your finish and make a slurry and then brush it on. But instead, we put it in a salt shaker and I'm going to put the finish down and then just shake it on. That way I can get it as thick or as thin as I want it using the salt shaker. And something else I'm going to do on this board, back in the 80s when Mount St. Helens erupted, a friend of mine went up there and brought me back some ash from Mount St. Helens. Well, I found it here in the shop the other day and it was in this glass vial and it fell to the concrete floor and busted and I lost most of it but I've still got a little bit left so just for good luck I've put some Mount St. Helens ash into our grip texture and I'm going to sprinkle that on the board just for good luck. So let's get started on it we'll see how it turns out.
I'm going to let this dry overnight, and then I'll put one more thin coat of finish on it and shake some more texture out on it. The idea there is that as that finish wears down, I'm going to have a whole other layer of new texture underneath. Usually I do at least two coats with texture. I may put three on this one. just depends on how it looks after that last dry. But we'll let this dry overnight. We'll take a look at it. We'll have a better idea of what we need to do. We've got three coats of finish on the board now, and two of those coats have got this texture additive on them. So we've got a nice, gritty surface now to ride on. You might remember when this board came back in for repairs, it had clear grip tape on it. Didn't look real good on top of this nice wood pattern. So we got rid of that tape, and we've actually put the texture on top of the finish. So now it's a lot better and more functional, and just looks better too. And the owner has taken a look at this board, and he likes what we've done. He's happy with it. And he's particularly stoked with the fact that part of the grit that we put on this board surface is actual volcanic ash from Mount St. Helens from when it erupted back in the 80s. And I'll bet you that this is the only board in the world that has Mount St. Helens ash as grit on its surface. So that's pretty cool. So we've finished this one up. All he's got to do is put his trucks back on, put his wheels on it, countersink his screws, and he's back on the road. I'm going to let him take care of that. I believe he can handle that. So for our part of it, we're finished with this repair and restoration. Put this one in the books as a completed project. Now up next, we got these folks in today to the shop. Those are Razor A5 Lux scooters. Brand new. Just got them in the box this afternoon. Delivered here to the shop. And we've been asked to put new bearings in them. We're going to put some of these Bones Reds bearings in those wheels so they'll roll nice and easy and they'll roll fast, I'm sure, when we're done with it. So I'll videotape that and get that posted. So if you've got a scooter you want to change the bearings out on, you'll know how to do it. Now in the meantime, if you've got a cruiser that you like to cruise around on, like this long board right here, that you don't want any grip tape on it, you may have some nice artwork on yours, or you may have a nice wood pattern on yours like this one, and you don't want grip tape, get yourself some of this texture additive, put it on like we did. It's going to look good, and it's going to work good. Not hard to do, doesn't take much time. And I believe it's something that you'll be able to do. Good luck with it.